Bill, we're stood in front of this five axis machine. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so this is our VMX42 UDI. Um, it's part of our D range. So this has got an inline spindle that you can see just here. Um, we do, for example, a VMX42U, and that's a standard sort of belt driven machine. You can get 12K on that particular machine. But what this particular machine allows you to with the D range is you have a 15K spindle. And as it's an inline spindle, it's faster acceleration and faster deceleration. So what does that mean for a customer to have this type of spindle? You'll definitely you get better surfacing for example that higher rpm means you can sort of get that much cleaner surface finish on your parts which is definitely what most people are looking for uh, but also as well it's got 45 meters of rapid on it so it's a very fast machine in general so you can definitely get your parts off much quicker with a machine like this more information about this five axis unit please tell me what the specs are what the travel is everything about that yeah so the x on this is a 1070 and you've got 610 in your y and 520 in your z uh, the a axis itself you have the ability to go a full minus 110 degrees or forward plus 30 degrees on this and it's a continuous 398 diameter c-axis uh, so it's continuously spinning so you can't run out on that particular one you've also got a tool probe on here we do yeah options available are things like tool and part probe i would definitely recommend that if someone's looking to go for a machine like this helps you to get your tools programmed quicker calibrated and ultimately your datum set quicker as well so i highly recommend probing on a machine like this Two screens on yes. this machine, how does that help a customer? Yeah, so being a VMX model, things that you would get standard are things like, for example, the actual screen itself. That means you'll have a constant graphic screen and a constant programming screen. Just makes your life a bit easier if you have that particular package. Other things as well, standard, you get a swarf conveyor with this too. Um, and other things too, for example, that are available are things like CTS, coolant through spindle. This particular machine is a 40 station to, uh, tool, uh, tool changer, but you have the ability to upgrade that to a 60 if you want it as well. So you could have 60 tools in this machine if you wanted it. So if you've got parts on there that take up a lot of tools, yeah, you've yeah. got capability. Yes. Five axis parts on here. Yes. How have you programmed this? Yeah, so this particular part and it's also on the C axis currently as well. All of this was programmed using our conversational data blocks. This is kind of the program you're seeing just here, for example. So um, this is a standard for this a This is a standard, machine. yeah, yeah, for example that. Uh, things that you might want to include, so standard would be uh, three plus two machining but if you're looking to do simultaneous we offer a simultaneous option as well so uh, so like times five that sort of stuff if you wanted to this do machine can make a whole range of parts yes. can't it yeah yeah this suits pretty much any industry um as you can see currently on here we've got this particular demo but we've actually got this on a plate from uh, Tang Work Holding. So we've got a center point going on here as well. Um, but yeah, this suits any industry. This depends on what it is, the part you're trying to make. Most people, even if they're doing a three axis part, they might consider a five axis option because ultimately there's less ops to be had if you have a five axis machine. So yeah, highly recommend, uh, highly recommend a machine of this size and capability, that's for sure. Yeah.